Hello my loves, thank you so much for tuning in into another episode on This Is Fash. Thank you so much, I can never thank you enough. Kindly like this video before you continue watching as I explain to you what we are doing today. So today we have a very interesting episode for us and for you guys. We are going to make ugali, mbuzi and skumawiki uh, mixed with spinach. So it was my friend's birthday and we thought to make them a very nice just lunch together so that's us we bought the meat and went straight home you're going to see us cook the process and enjoy the meal what you're not gonna see is us unpacking i lost the footage i'm sorry enjoy the rest of the video kindly leave me a sweet comment let me know what you think about this video a short while besties to lifika home and it was time to cut the meat in pieces the butcher guy refused to cut the meat for us in pieces i look on a very bad customer service but i took on an option to anywhere else he was the only, it was very early in the morning so because he was the only one he just took advantage of us but we had no choice we made the process fun by dancing and listening to good music as we cut the meat into smaller pieces. Enjoy the rest of the video and the cooking. Let me know what to think about this video or up to now. If you are enjoying it, send me a like and leave me a sweet comment. So after to make a the meat into smaller pieces to lay a very uh, enough spaced pot to make a bit boring, usque regular, usque a bit kawaida kienyeji kienyeji. To lay a bit one large garlic and also one large ginger. Boil with it to make a very nice broth. Do you keep the end of cooking? It just has aroma. Okay, so that is it. We put it on fire and then we cover it to boil for a while. Okay. That's how you make mbuzi. How did you make your mbuzi? How do you make your mbuzi? Let me know in the comment section below. This was gonna be a wet fry because we are going to have it with ugali. That's why it had to be a wet fry. This is us cutting spinach. We or we bought kales and spinach, but the kales already cut, so we were cutting the spinach to mix together to make it soft and even tastier. As we were cutting the spinach, I'm telling you to look a story for your kitchen. It, this was the idea of the entire thing, like to, to have enough time to cook together, laugh together, talk together, and just make good memories with your good friends, okay? Ensure you do that. After boiling the meat until it was tender, it was now time to fry the meat because we are going to make a wet fry. Sasa tuliongeza vitungu. Ensure you add a lot and lot of onions as much as you can because onions bring the best flavor into the meat when you're frying it. At this step, we had already add, added oil, so the meat was already smelling so good. And you remember we boiled with onions, garlic, and ginger. It, it's already tasty. Okay, so we are just going. My friend was mixing the onions uh, and the meat to ensure everything is well combined. how The kitchen right now was just smelling amazing. I'm sure you are killing the neighbors with the good aroma from the kitchen. <laughs> so to green peppers, green bell pepper, to garlic and ginger, the grated ones. And then we are going to mix that and allow it also to just simmer a little bit before we add the tomatoes. Let me know what you think so far and let me know if you prepare your wet fry this way, okay? After vitungu na garlic na 
bell peppers maiva we added a generous amount of tomatoes because we were looking forward to a nice wet fry that could be used to eat ugali na isikue mekauka sana na isikue pia iko too soupy okay that's why we added this amount of tomatoes they were not very ripe but they got the job done and we had fun doing it my friend was very very helpful tukaongezea mm, the broth we used to boil the meat before usiongeze maji ya tap tafadhali hey usiko mshamba don't do that don't do that the, the water we used to boil the meat is the one we are using as soup because that's why we added garlic ginger and, and onions before to make it uh, like a broth to make it tasty to make it spiced do to me it like you kwa soup okay sio kama ya maji ya tap usijiangushe In a separate pot we heat up oil and added a generous amount of onions remember onions are your friend when you're looking for good food and aroma in the kitchen okay so weka vitungu usiogope weka vitungu sawa weka vitungu tukaongezea spring onions for the taste spring onions are given the same rate as normal onions so tawekelea juice zingine zikiwa zimeshaiva kidogo we did not have such a big pot we we could not mix all the veggies together so we were putting them in layers we put kale first i don't know if these are kale i'm a colored greens me i don't know so to like those was a kwanza and then spinach to go layer the next layer and then we we mix them up and added salt ugali as the last uh, the last dish to be made julikuwa mingi tukaitana tusaidiwe okay so tusaidiwe kupika ugali that was the ugali it is so yummy looks yummy and then the guests were ready to eat they were just making stories around as we as they wait for food we were also guests but we were also the chefs they they plural ya chef for come for i sana they asked me not to shoot but i told them hey i'm a youtuber i'm a content creator you're going to stand you're going to have to get used to camera okay so tulipanga food kama buffet sahani ziko hapo ugali kama ya walu <laughs> and then there was meat very nicely cooked vegetables and kachumbari kachumbari is african or kenyan salad in case you're wondering what that is a mixture of tomatoes onions dania and whatever else you have thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye bye